Yeah. Hi everybody, it's painting time. And today I'm going to be painting this Puppets of War Striker miniature that I had reviewed in my last video. So let's get stuck in. To start off, I'm going to start with my black spray prime and a zenithal of white ink from Liquitex. For my first main base coat, it's going to be with Liquitex Purple Ink. Through the airbrush, I will be doing two thin coats of this color. For the first highlight, I'm going to spray on Brilliant Magenta from Joe Sanchez. I'm going to mix that 50-50 with some Magic Mix in water. This highlight will be more of a zenithal style, from the top down. To bring out all the details on the pink armor, I'm going to wash it with contrast of Volupa's pink. I won't be thinning this paint down, I'm just going to go straight in, one coat. For this paint job, I've decided I'm not going to use any metallics, only acrylic colors. So for my second color, I'm going to paint everything black. This will include the jetpack thrusters, his leg armor, and arm armor, his hammer, and a few details on the shield just to accent the pink.
To base coat the head and cloak, I'm going to use Provincial Beige from Joe Sanchez. I'll be doing two thin layers of this. To wash the face, I'm going to use Contrast Gold Contra Fur. I prefer using Gold Contra Fur to wash skin because of the warm hue I get. And finally, to wash the cloak, I'm going to use Contrast Skeleton Horde. I will use two coats of this because Skeleton Horde is a very thin color. To start highlighting the head, I'm going to come back with my original beige color and start painting in all the sharp details on the face, and that includes the top of his head, anywhere that I feel light will be hitting. And for the final highlight for the face, I'm going to use a 50-50 mix of beige and bisque from Joe Sanchez. I'm going to focus this color mainly on the top of his head, the ridge of his nose, the sharp points of his cheeks. To edge highlight the armor panels, I'm going to use my original color of Brilliant Magenta and mix it 50-50 with Titanium White from Joe Sanchez. The beauty of this model is that all the edges are very pronounced, so edge highlighting is very easy. Remember, wherever you can, use the side of your brush to do the edge highlight. And if you have to use the tip, just steady your hands and take your time to draw in the line. For the cloak, I'm going to layer up the original base color of beige from Joe Sanchez. I'm going to layer this up using a dry brush on each of the folds of the parchment cloak. And to finish off the cloak, I'm going to use Iraqi sand and dry brush that on. I'm going to focus on all the edges and the tops of the folds, trying to leave a little bit of my beige in between. My third color is going to be Aqua from Joe Sanchez. I'm going to use this color to paint all the trim areas, like the ones on his shoulder pad, his knees, and on his chest. And on the shield, I'm going to use this Aqua color to paint the energy glow from the shield.
To start highlighting up all the black areas, I'm going to use Game Color Shadow Grey and I'm going to do a dry brush over each of the black armor panels. I will be switching to a very small brush to dry brush around all the other colors. And to clean up all the dry brush chalkiness, I'm going to come in with a 50-50 mix of Basilicanum Grey Contrast Paint and Magic Mix. I'm going to paint the thin down Basilicanum Grey over all the black areas, just to tidy up and to even out the dry brushing. I even use this mix to shade in all the blue trim as well. For the trim, after the Basilicon and Grey has dried, I'm going to come in with Joe Sandra's Aqua, my original blue color. I'm going to use this color to re-establish my blue. To finish off the blue trim, I'm going to come in with a 50-50 mix of Titanium White and Aqua. I'm going to use this to paint the top edges of all the trim and areas I feel a little bit of visual interest is required. For the shields, I'm just going to use the same color and just fill in the absolute middle of each of the energy glows. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave links to Puppets War Patreon and My Mini Factory in the description below. Please like, subscribe and if there's anything you would like me to cover, please leave it in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.